Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and we have the Galaxy Note 3. In uh, this video, I'm going to talk about S Finder. S Finder, uh, you can quickly open up from your error command. You just hover your S Pen over anywhere and press the button on the uh, pen, and it's this little magnifying glass is S Finder, so we'll go ahead and choose it. S Finder lets you search uh, pretty much everything on the device, including notes and anything that's written in handwriting. And of course, you can limit things to just notes or handwriting and tags. I have some tags for different scrapbooks uh, and things. And you can also talk about, you want know, only look the past seven days, past 30 days, and whatever. So, um, Right now, we'll go ahead and do a search, and I'm actually going to search for um, a recipe that I have in here uh, for meatloaf, and I'll go ahead and type in meatloaf, and do the search, and right away, it's uh, because I originally went onto it in Chrome, there it is there, but you can see right there, it's searching in the scrapbook, and uh, there's the scrapbook item right there, um, and then I can actually take a look at it in the half view here, um, and that that's, was originally in my scrapbook. So that's pretty cool that it can search that, and it can also continue on and search the web as well. So um, let's just say now I want to search for something else, um, let's just say, um, all right, let's, now I put my name in, in an S note. I actually hand, hand wrote my name. Let's just do that. Go into S note, and I actually have an S note here. I just typed my, or not typed, I wrote my name out. So now let's go back into, we'll do it from another screen. We can do it from there, but since we're already in, it seems kind of crazy to actually search for it while it's already <laughs> open. Um, so I'm going to go ahead here and put in my last name. Now you're going to see some other things will actually come up here uh, other than just that. Uh, for example, some stuff in the calendar, birthdays, um, my son's birthday, some calendar items, some contacts with the same last name, and there's the S note with my handwriting Nazarian, and it, came, and it actually came up. There was nothing typed up in that in a regular typed font. That was just pure handwriting that it found. And of course, I can search the web as well. Um, so it's pretty slick, um, and it really, I mean, this is really the way search should be in a device. I really like this, especially if you're using, utilizing S notes and, and scrapbook and stuff. Here's a scrapbook item here where I just have a quick picture here of, uh, of a car, of a Mazda car, CX-5. If I actually go in and search for it, and I say I go back, and I search for Mazda it will come up of course it's uh, talking about you know because I do own a Mazda actually so um, the uh, service the area for me the uh, local Mazda dealership and there it is in the scrapbook just the the uh, image that I took and the word Mazda is in there Mazda USA so pretty slick S finder definitely use S finder if you're using a lot of these notes and things and I I hope this uh, helped uh, you get an idea of how to do this um, but like I said you can also if you want to limit it to handwriting and notes or communications you can do that there's also a help area if you want to just look for yesterday today next seven days past seven days past 30 days of course next seven days would be more for your calendar and you can also search under just your tag so if you have a bunch of recipes things tagged with a recipe you can search for that for it to be quicker or whatever but anyways it's pretty cool S finder give it a shot Thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.